Greetings from the 11th inning stretch. My name is Paul Levy. Uh, Alex is not with me today, so I will be doing the wrap-up of the Cincinnati Reds and the preview of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, so for as the wrap-up for the Reds, um, it was a series that the Cardinals probably should have swept, but you could also make the case that, you know, two to one was fair because Mike Lee got pounced on uh, in the first game of the series. Um, but And then you can also argue that the Cardinals should have swept because they should have held that lead uh, or, or should have taken the lead um, and held it against the Reds. Um, but either way, the Cardinals played pretty well. The offense uh, came alive once again. Adam Wainwright pitched beautifully in the, uh, in the third game of the series. Overall, it was nice to see. Granted, you know, like we've been saying all year, the Reds aren't go- are a good team, and the Cardinals beat good teams. Um, so, so we'll see what happens when they go into Pittsburgh for the second time this season. And as for the Pirates, their starting pitchers for Thursday, Friday – or sorry, Friday, Saturday, Sunday – is um, Garrett Cole, uh, Francisco Lariano, and John Neese. As for the Cardinals, it is Waka, Martinez, and Leak. Um, injuries, uh, there's nothing to report for the Pirates. They've been healthy. Um, and for the Cardinals, um, Peralta just came back, as as we all know. Um, and Brian Pena and Seth Manis just went on their rehab assignment. I believe it was June 7th. Um, I don't know a timetable of when they're going to return, but you would have to think it would be within the next week or possibly two. Um, As for who's hot for the Pirates, I would have to say Gregory Polanco. Um, He's been one of the better hitters in the National League, actually. Uh, He's batting 302 with nine home runs and 39 RBIs as a 381 OBP. He's been better than Andrew McCutcheon, who's not so hot for the Pirates right now. Uh, He's only batting 251 with nine home runs, you know. McCutcheon's the guy that gets all the attention because he's a perennial MVP candidate, but that's not what's happening this season. It's all, you know, Polanco. Um, but as for the Cardinals, um, it'd be hard to ignore uh, Johnny Peralta, his first series coming back. He went four for nine with five RBI, five RBIs and, and one home run. And it's really amazing how much he changes, changes the lineup um, and adds more to it. And just when you thought that the Cardinals couldn't hit – enough home runs and score enough runs, they're going to hit more because Peralta's back now. Uh, he really does bolster that lineup, and it's going to be even more fun to watch. Uh, as for who's not half of the Cardinals, it would also be hard to ignore Randall Gritchick. He's, he, you know, got demoted to the eighth spot in the lineup lately. Uh, he's uh, two for 11 uh, against the Reds, and you have to wonder at some point, is Tommy Pham going to come up? Um Gritchick's defense has been fine, uh, but his offense has been lacking, and thus is why he's batting eighth now. Uh, So we'll see what he continues to to do in the future as well. Uh, Thanks for watching this series preview for the Pirates and the series wrap-up for the Reds. We will be back next week.